Hi everyone, my name is Matt Haynes, and this is part of my Audiobook Narrator Adventures series. Um, I love to share my adventures uh, from the industry, and this video is part of a series within the series called Self-Improvement Paths. Um, and uh, what it is, is a mantra or a practice that I take on each week that helps moving forward in my career and in my life a little bit easier and a little bit more fun. Now, what I'm going to share with you comes from my process as a narrator, but I believe that these paths that I'm sharing can be applied to just about any life process or work process or self-improvement process. That's what I think. You let me know if it works for you. Uh, so this week, the path is stumble forward and look for the vine. Okay, so what do I mean by that? What I mean is, uh, like last week in our previous video, this is about going forward even when not seeming completely prepared beyond a reasonable doubt. Um, now, the last one was about psyching myself into going forward with something, uh, looking at the two ways in which I probably am prepared or at least adequately prepared. Now, this one is the just do it type of thing. Stumble forward into the task and find my way. Overload my schedule just a little bit. Don't uh, double book, but overload the task list just a little bit. Make it a little bit ambitious and show up, show up, show up on time to what I decide to do, even if I don't think that I'm ideally prepared. What I find, or what I'm uh, finding especially recently, is that there are three vines. If I look for them, at least one of them is going to pop up pretty quickly that I can grab to stabilize myself. The first one is there might be an opening in my schedule that happens during the week. Somebody cancels an appointment, um, and then I've got this time that I needed to accomplish another thing. Um, there's a creative solution that I end up uh, finding, or I reach out for help and I get help. Uh, these are all great, healthy things for getting tasks done. Uh, let me give you a more elaborate example. Let's say that I've made an agreement with myself to get into the recording studio at 8 p.m., start recording at 8.15, and, um, 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 but wait a second, I only have uh, two chapters uh, completely prepped with my notes of the text. So chapters one and two are prepped, but chapters three and four aren't. And what am I going to be doing? I'm going to be wasting time while in the studio prepping chapters three and four. I should really just prep chapters three and four now and then go into, no, 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 no. You made an agreement, get into the studio, you have your goals, you'll find a vine. Look for it. Okay, so I stumble in. I get started on chapters one and two, and then, oh, look, a vine that I can grab onto. I can have chapters one and two processed digitally, which is part of my craft anyway. Um, I can put the computer to process those files while I then process chapters three and four, which also has me standing up, getting my blood circulated, having me drink my water. Wonderful. Okay, so I stumbled in, I found a vine. Now, I'm not suggesting that you go into things completely blind or completely unprepared. We're talking about stumbling through, not falling in. But the idea of being prepared just enough and then there's something kind of unprepared uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the final preparation phase. It's almost like you don't have the full thing mapped out. It's not as if it's already done and all you have to do is do it there's a little bit of X factor. And uh, if you need to be somewhere on time, if you really want to get something achieved and are uncertain as to whether you have enough prep for it, stumble forward into it and you'll probably find a vine and probably one that's a lot more effective uh, in getting your way to the path, through the path, than if you had simply mapped things out more carefully. That's what I'm going to do this week. I'll be getting back to you with my results. Uh, you get back to me with yours. Thank you for joining me on this week's adventure, and I hope that my voice and your ears meet again real soon.